The Caribbean continues to struggle with the many vulnerabilities associated with climate hazards. Now faced with the devastation caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, the region's efforts to help governments, employers, and workers become more resilient to a changing and a challenging environment have been negatively affected. The Caribbean continues to be challenged by our vulnerability in several ways, to the physical uh, threats through natural disasters, as well as we continue to be threatened by our financial, economic, and even social constraints. However, the ILO's recommendation 205 is based on global agreement among our member states on certain key principles and actions that have been identified and agreed for building resilience. So that is why we embarked on the ILO Caribbean Resilience Project in the target countries of St. Lucia, Guyana and Dominica. Through the Caribbean Resilience Project, countries in the region can develop and implement policy responses to mitigate the impacts of climate disasters and health crises on labor markets and economic growth. The project provides guidance on effective planning and recovery mechanisms based on the ILO's decent work agenda. Centered around four pillars, social dialogue, social protection, rights at work and employment, the Decent Work Agenda is a fundamental building block for effective sustainable development, a fact reinforced in Sustainable Development Goal SDG 8. The pillar relating to employment creation and enterprise development is very critical um, and also the pillar dealing with social dialogue because that's where participation and contribution of employers and workers organizations is, is very critical. Of course, the decent work agenda includes standards, um, standards and rights at work, including issues relating to social protection. So those four key areas is why, what really drives the work of the ILO um, in its engagement, um, collaboration with social partners. The ILO's unique tripartite approach brings together governments and employers and workers' organizations to design effective strategies and policies to address impacts. The involvement and participation of employers' organization at national and, and regional level is very, very critical. Um, and, 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 and particularly when we talk um, to issues relating to resilience, um, their involvement is also articulated in the ILO Just Transitioning Guidelines um, and their contribution in, in supporting resilience at, 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 at the national and regional, and regional level. Of course, for, for employers, resilience means you know the, the capacity of business to recover quickly from a disaster or from a crisis. So discussions regard, re, regarding that recovery, um, particularly at the business and enterprise level, it's very important to engage and involve, and involve employers' organizations. I consider workers' organizations important in this particular scenario, given the fact that workers' organizations are development uh, actors in their own right. They have been uh, promoting sustainable development goals, the United uh, Nations Sustainable Development Goals, and in particular, Sustainable Development Goal number eight, which is related to freedom of association, collective bargaining, and particular fundamental rights at the workplace, and social dialogue mechanisms, and the promotion of decent work agenda. Workers have been actively engaging in these discussion processes on development, uh, on sustainable development agenda, and these uh, actions make them particularly relevant and essential in uh, national, regional, and international levels. Some of the policy mechanisms to secure a more resilient Caribbean that are being advanced by the project include the creation of more decent jobs, anticipating impacts on employment, adequate and sustainable social protection for job losses and displacement, skills development and social dialogue. 
Additionally, the ILO, through the Caribbean Resilience Project, is working with the governments to institute the policies, legislative frameworks, and to build capacity for just transition. And by just transition, we mean supporting societies to become more environmentally friendly and economically sustainable for the long-term development and resilience of our Caribbean country. Find out more about the ILO Caribbean Resilience Project at ilo.org slash Caribbean.